Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the college's library website to find um, literary criticism. So you're starting your research paper and you um, would like to find some resources to, to help you with that project. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the college website. All right. Um, from here, there's this quick links uh, drop down menu. I'm going to scroll all the way down to library, click that. <clears throat> So here's the library main page. There's the catalog, um, databases and articles, library guides, and citation tools. And we're going to look for um, articles. And um, <clears throat> there's a lot of different databases that the library subscribes to. Um, and we want to find the ones that are primarily doing uh, literature and language. So we're going to search by subject. And you can see this is an actual uh, helpful way to figure out which databases are going to contain the best resources for your project. Um, and you can look um, by subject. But let's come down here to literature and click on that. So this is, whenever you click on a subject, this is going to be the breakdown. Um, the first uh, sources are going to be kind of your best bets. And so we have the Literature Resource Center, um, Salem Literature, Lit Finder, JSTOR, um, and you get a little bit of description about what kinds of materials are contained um, within this database. So literary criticism, plot outlines, um, full text of literature reference works. Um, you scroll down, um, you have some of these academic one file, search premier, general one file. These are very general databases that cover a variety of subjects, so uh, they're worth look looking into as well. Um, the first one that I want to introduce to you is the Literature Resource Center. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on that. <clears throat> so here is the uh, basic search page, and I like to come right over here to the advanced search. Um, Alright, and you'll notice you have these drop down fields that have uh, very specific, I, I guess, areas to search. So you have keyword, um, name of work, person that it's about, or by, abstract. Um, you can search all the text. Um, and then you have these um, Boolean operators right here to link keywords um, to other search fields. Um, if you scroll down, you can limit by um, publication uh, date, um, type of content so if you're getting a lot of uh, reviews but you're looking for criticism you know you can um, uncheck some of these and and just check the ones that you want um, and you know you can filter out by language um, so the first thing that I'm gonna do I'm looking for um, a commentary criticism about gender in uh, Henrik Ibsen's A Dollhouse and so Instead of searching by keyword, I'll search by name of work. And let's just type in a doll's house. And, you know, we'll leave all these checked um, just to see how many things um, pop up. Okay. So we have, uh, you know, three pages of results. So it's not that much. But you can scroll down through, through these and you can see what they are by type. So a uh, critical essay, um, an excerpt. Um, and it gives you uh, the publication, you know, where it was published, when it was published, how long it is, how many words. Um, and so this, this could be interesting right here. Uh, a review from, actually, no, this isn't the review. This is a, a critical piece from Bernard Shaw, another writer, in 1891. So if I am looking at a historical um, sort of look at the play, I, I might be curious about what people, how people interpret it in the 19th century. Um, over here on the left hand side uh, are just sort of ways to break down this, the search results. So if I don't want to sift through all 57 things I can click on one of these and see the 35 results that are about a doll's house specifically. Um, to come back to the advanced search, uh, another thing you might do is um, instead of looking at a doll's house, let's look for it's about we want criticism uh, of Ibsen as an author, and <clears throat> we can add a keyword because we're looking for uh, issues of um, gender, feminism, and so 
I shorten the word and add this little asterisk. Um, it's a neat little search um, tool to truncate a word, and so this will search for um, feminism, uh, feminist, feminine, um, and so I just sort of truncate it at the root of all those words. And we can leave all these checked. Um, actually, let's take out the biographies, multimedia. Let's leave the reviews, the primary, and the criticism, and maybe the overview. So we'll click search. And you'll see some of the same same hits, but you'll also see um, some other things. And what we have now are some search results that perhaps talk about this theme in Ibsen's work, but maybe not um, so heavily centered on a doll's house. Uh, this might be helpful research because I can see what other people had to say about this theme in his other plays and try and um, take that criticism and apply it to the work that I'm looking at. Um, and so, you know, you can click on any of these, full text, PDF, you can print them out. Um, if there's multimedia, you can, you know, download the MP3, but uh, this is a great resource um, to start with. And just to uh, review, I went to um, the library website, I searched for databases by subject, and I clicked on literature, and from there, you know, I searched, and that was just from looking at the Literature Resource Center. Um, you know, I would still, I could still go through all of these databases to find uh, different resources. So, um, happy researching, and let me know if you have any questions.